Hey, what's happening everybody out there? My name is Hayden Adams, and in this example, I wanna show you how to use the crop tool in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. Let's get started. All right, in order to access the crop tool, you'll wanna hit the C on your keyboard or come over here on the left and click on the crop tool. By default, the top left, bottom right, all right, bottom left, bottom right, and top right is where you're gonna scale your crop area. Watch what happens when I click and drag down the screen. What happens is, is the screen keeps the crop in the middle of the screen, and the picture that is not cropped is outside of it. If I wanna move my crop, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag my picture inside the crop area to where I want it to be. If you wanna rotate this crop, you can use your mouse outside of it. So if I click and drag outside of the crop area, you'll note now how my picture turns based upon how I'm rotating the image inside the crop tool. Once I have the correct crop, all I have to do is hit the Enter key and it locks it in place. But let's take it a step further. How have you noticed before, whenever I crop it, it puts the crop in the middle, but the picture moves around. I'm actually take this one step back and I like to use what's called the classic mode. I'm an old school Photoshop guy and to me the classic mode was just built, in my opinion, perfectly. So let's go over to the crop tool once again, C for crop, and up here in this little gear icon, I'm gonna use classic mode. And this is something different than enabling it from the non-classic to the classic. If I choose classic, now what happens is I have the ability to click and drag on the screen of where I wanna crop. Also note now that you'll see there's a width and height applied to it as I crop. It tells me how big via the width and height it's gonna be. When I let go, it's a different kind of crop environment. Now note when I move the crop area, it doesn't move the picture. To me, this just feels more normal to my workflow. And so whenever I'm in Photoshop, I go right over to that checkbox and use the classic mode. Same as before, I can put my mouse on the outside and rotate it. And for me, this was better for me because I can rotate the picture without the picture rotating but the crop area actually rotating. So if I put it here, once again hitting the Enter key, now secures the crop in place. And that's a better way of using the crop tool via the classic mode. But ultimately, when I crop things, I wanna make things what I call pixel perfect. I want them to be the exact width and height that I want to make it. And here's where the power of the crop tool really starts to shine. Up, I'm still in the crop tool, up here, it actually has the option to say, how big of a picture do I wanna crop? So if I wanna crop for say Instagram, because this picture is a two by three, I want it to be a one by one ratio. So I'm gonna say one by one square. When I choose this, it'll put one, one inside my crop tool and watch what happens now. When I click and drag, I'm not holding any keys down on the keyboard it holds my crop to a perfect square. Now if I wanna use this on Instagram, now I can come over here and say, all right, well, that's as far as I possibly can go. And so I want these palm trees, and I know unfortunately I cannot get the rest of the ocean over here because it is a one-to-one -one ratio. And if I put my mouse right about there, hit the Enter key, now this picture, if I go to Image, Image Size, is a perfect crop or a one-to-one -one ratio at 1267 by 1267. This is where the power of the crop tool really comes in, the ability to crop at a perfect ratio. Now, along with sizing things down, you actually can size things up. Now, keep in mind, not the image size, but I can increase what's called the canvas size. I'm gonna clear out that one-to-one -one square, and let's say I wanna put some text over here on the left hand side. What I'm gonna do is right now my background layer is set. I'm gonna double click the background layer and make it so I can edit this. Now keep in mind your background color 
as you do this. I'm gonna set mine to white for right now. I'm gonna take my crop tool, now I'm still in classic mode. I'm gonna click and drag across the entire screen and now I'm gonna pull out and I have to hold the shift key down for this one. The new version of Photoshop means if I wanna scale it, I don't hold the shift key. Sorry, if I do wanna scale it, man, Photoshop is getting me every time now. Photoshop CC 2019 changed this. If I do wanna scale it, I do not hold the shift key. And if I do not wanna scale it, I hold the shift key down. I'm gonna create a one third area right there, hit the enter key, and it creates this transparent area so I can write type in here. So the crop tool also lets you add space to your canvas in addition to taking space away from your canvas as you so choose. But here is my single greatest way to crop something and it's actually not with the crop tool. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to layer zero, which I have right here, and I'm gonna hold the command key down and click on the layer. I have to click on the actual picture itself. Now note what I call the marching ants, the little marquee going around this picture. If I wanna crop this back, meaning you know what? I don't want this actual area in my picture anymore. Now yes, I could use the undo tool since I just did it. But if I'm let's say 100 steps in and I mean, like, you know what? I don't want this extra area, I want this cropped perfectly. What you can also use, and there's no shortcut key for this, but you can also use image crop. Now the secret to this one is that you have to have something selected in order to crop it. So because I have the marching ants and I held command key down to select my layer, the image crop will perfectly crop my picture back to the exact size I had it at originally and that's the other way of using a crop tool without using the C key, but up to image and crop. Hey, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Has this helped you? Have you learned a little bit more about how to use the crop tool in Photoshop? If so, let me know in the comments below. If you loved it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't love it, I totally hear you. And if you really, really, really love these series of videos, then please subscribe to my channel for all things the Adobe Creative Cloud. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.